city draws people from all over the world, but nothing quite does it like Times Square. Locals and tourists explore the theater district, and if they're looking for a laugh, they'll definitely find it there too. We're going to explore the exhilarating art of stand-up comedy. The Broadway Comedy Club is actually one of three clubs that we have in the city. We have Broadway, New York, and Greenwich Village. And every single night, sometimes twice a night, besides our main headliner shows, we have open mic. And this is the opportunity where anybody who has a joke or anybody that thinks they're funny or their mom or their, someone in their office said they're funny can get up on stage and try it out. Well, who do people tell you look like? You look like that black guy. If you want to do this as far as stand-up comedy, it's like the rawest form of entertainment. There's a mic, there's people, and there's you. Make us laugh. Many comedians call the Broadway Comedy Club home, including Mike Britt and Marina Franklin. As for the comedians gracing the silver screen, this Times Square hotspot has seen the likes of Tracy Morgan, Rosie O'Donnell, and Sean Wayans, to name a few. The Broadway Comedy Club features open mic and comedy performances every day, but isn't limited to seasonal professionals. New Yorkers are encouraged to bring their best jokes to the stage, which is how many headlining comedians got their start. Well, if this isn't the wall of fame, and we've got my boy Jay Leno over here, he's so successful. Looks like he got to start good old 1994. And now look where he is. Some good talent has come out of here. We have cool. had great talent come through our doors. You know, a lot of the people that started at the open mic, the owner, Al Martin, has actually really nourished talent. So people have started as our bar backs, have started as waitress, waitresses, and have worked their way up and have been on Letterman and The Tonight Show. And so it's kind of a community where you start at the bottom and you kind of work your way up. And in six, seven years, you'll be on television. Comedian Pete Davidson started out when he was 17 year old. He'd come here, he'd stay out to three o'clock in the morning, go home, get up and go to high school. And just last week, he was on Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel. Get up here and you're like, a, you're like an open book to people and that's impressive to people. You know immediately uh, that if this is good or bad. And um, they're just up there and all you just see is teeth and eyes. And for a moment, it's like, Man, this is like this is it. This is this is it doesn't get any better than that. Everything's complicated in New York. Simple things are complicated. Like shopping. Shopping is complicated. There are so many different kinds of comedy and open mic opportunities in the city. We found out why stand-up is such an iconic New York art. How do you get inspiration from New York City and bring it into your into your stand-up? <laughs> New York is a oh, New York is a place, I'll tell you that much. If you're always interacting with people. Here you're on a subway or you're doing something. You're always interacting with people. And I feel like that's the, the biggest thing, especially with my stand-up, because I make it conversational. So the fact that I always have to interact with people, that's it's, it makes it easier because I'm always doing it, even off the stage. <laughs> so you're an Alice. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I'm an My ex was an Alice. Well, my ex had bigger teeth than you. <laughs> Why <are> we judge? <laughs> when you go to LA, you're going to see more of like the television stars and the actors that want to be comedians. But if you want to see the true art of stand up comedy, you come to New York City. I think New York City is just filled with a lot of great energy, but I think the comedians find their own sense of community within the comedy community, and they have writing groups, and they feed off of each other's energy. We have, we have someone very special tonight, all the way from Atlanta, Atlanta, yeah. Atlanta Georgia, yeah. all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, <laughs> Georgia, what part of Atlanta, Georgia? <laughs> so that's that's you know kids just say stuff and that that was that was that stuff but um uh, I think everything else would be uh, a little inappropriate. Okay. The open mic at Broadway Comedy Club offers New Yorkers young and old the gift of expression. While it can seem scary to first timers, it's a chance worth taking because you'll never know what'll happen. It's kind of like the city of New York. Because of New York City's endless possibilities, many people's futures are as bright as Times Square. Reporting for Cosmo Times, I'm Christy Clemens.